Well, last mission wasn't successful, so let's try again, shall we? And I just gave away the end of the last video if you weren't watching. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that I got... Huh, I have Type 3. I've even won Type 3. Oh no, I completed the quest to unlock the... I haven't won with the... Hmm. Hmm. Tell you what, let's try to win with Federation Cruiser Type C then. Black artillery weapon and an improved clone bay. Only the most suicidal of infantry chooses to fly the ship. Excuse me? <laughs> hmm. Well then. It's got the flak artillery. It's different from regular artillery beam, then I'm assuming. Just wonder how so. Powers a slow, high-powered flat gun that fires seven projectiles. Wow, seven. That's great for shields. More power means faster cooldown. Hmm. I don't think I used this yet. I probably unlocked it in the last video and forgot over time. By the way, our crew, we have Matt, Zaramar, Shelton, and Nikos. Hey, I remember you. Anyway. Hmm. The Fregatide. Alright. Fair enough. Emergency respirators is what it has, huh? Alright. Let's do it. Of course, hard mode and all that stuff. So. Data we carry is fine. We have no other weapon. Oh my. <laughs> oh my dear lord. <laughs> oh, we do have a teleporter. Interesting. Okay, first things first. Changing up positions here a little bit. Since we don't have a weapon, there's no point in having a crew member in the weapons position. So, we'll just have to transport people over. Distress beacon. So Nikos will work. Go down to the surface and investigate. Invite them to join the crew. Hello. Charlie. Excellent. We have a clone bay, so we don't exactly have a lot to be concerned about when it comes to us. Well, Charlie's good with engines, so he'll be taking engine positions. Zaramar can take a different job. Realistically, Zaramar would be weapons. For right now, though, it's going to have to be engines. So Charlie can instead go with Nikos. Alright. Well then, that actually worked out better than I expected at the start. Beam directly onto station, try and avoid detection. Once on board, you have access. Your map has been updated. Excellent. Possible ship detected, and then there's the distress beacons and more. Excellent, we know where everything is, so let's go. Oh good, I was, oh. Let's see, what do they have? Yeah, bribe's not good. Try to be the hero. Okay, first things first. Transport! Okay, theoretically, if it's an even match, they should win. <laughs> Actually. Besides, we do have a clone bay. Well then, there we are. Upon, you realize the attack was use leverage to get into them. Destroy the ship and salvage it. As terrible as a deed it may be. Okay, I want to avoid getting hit by that actual shot. Or wait. No, they fired a laser and an ion, so we're fine. Now here's the downside. We have a clone bay. So we just have to kind of wait for our crew to die. That's why I don't like that. I'd much rather have a medical bay. Oh well. Hail them. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent trade. We don't have any drone parts, so... Send your crew to help control the crowds. Your crew tries to keep the scene quickly, turns ugly, half crazy with you. Huh. Well then. So much for that. <laughs> Could have been worst, could have lost somebody, even though we would just get them back in the clone bay. Ok, 
Okay. Well, let's do this jump back, jump into the nebula, and then head there. Or, you know, jump into the nebula, head there, head there, jump back. Nearby sun is... Okay, here's where we're gonna do. We're gonna jump here. We're gonna go up here, and then we're gonna go down there, go back, go in. I think that's the plan. Attack the ship. First things first. Get on the weapon system! Well then, what the heck was that? Alright, uh... Zeramar, go find out. That was a boarding drone, is what that was. Not exactly a lot can be done without that. Okay. I want Matt to run for the door controls. Actually, no, if we lose cloning bay, that's a really bad thing, I just realized. Stop them! This is the part where the, uh, system thing there lets uh, go. I've actually taken no hull damage. And with the clone bay, don't really need to worry about crew members dying. Also, there's that flat gun firing, that amazing piece of equipment. Even though your crew members do lose their skills, still useful. Get in there and help out. Ooh! With no crew stop, you can install it. Excellent, we have a fire beam. Thank God for a <laughs> clone bay. However, I don't like it because of the fact that when your people die, you lose stuff. I'd still much prefer a medical, you know, whatchamacallit, a med bay. Much prefer a med bay, but this will do for now. Okay, jump there. Alright, uh, land in... this room. Because we know somebody's gonna be in there and we'll get some early hits on them and... Oh, they have a drone. Interesting. Alright, everyone just continue to... Uh... Hmm. Engine is still charged. Oh, goodness, that's not good. Jeremark, get in there. Luckily, the small bomb never actually does anything too bad. I mean, I hate just getting them killed constantly, but they have no other job to do otherwise. I don't like the ship design. I would immediately replace that personally. Oh no, oxygen's down. I'm really concerned. Okay, everyone, get back to positions. Transport over. Zeramar, go repair oxygen. And if the enemy has a clone bay, that makes things difficult. I need more Mantis crew members. I basically have the Mantis ship, but a little bit better. That's, that's the way to, uh, look at this. Honestly, it's the Manta ship, but a bit better. Well... Let's, uh... Improve that. And you know what, Charlie? Although you've lost a good bit of your skill, you haven't lost it all. Zeramar is now going to weapons. The only person going over is Nikos. Alright, for right now... Go ahead and power down the teleporter. Then 
we've powered down the engines one. So we can power the fire beam. Alright. Cool. Alright, time to get the heck out of here. Interesting ship. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Let's go down to uh, this uncharted nebula. Alright, we're here. Excellent, let's get some scrap. Again, I think the ship is cool, but at the same time, I don't think it's all that great. The flat cannon is awesome. I like the different artillery beams. Yeah. Prepare to fight? Oh, goodness, see, this is the part where it uh, becomes very important. Uh, is there any other system for you to operate realistically? No, there is not. Okay, artillery beam. That takes priority. As it is actually the only weapon right now. Because I doubt the fire beam will pass through the shielding. Hey, since their uh, systems are down, though, all they can do is EMP us. <laughs> Fire Beam has a pretty, uh, long shooting radius here. It's not bad. Let's see if I can min-max that as much as possible. No. Well, uh, not much can be done. If we had Lanius boarding crew member, that would be good as well, but then it would have to be just Lanius. <laughs> well, we're just waiting on the artillery beam. So, uh, fire away. Artillery beam any second now. Great. That's what we needed to have happen. Perfect. Now if only it could have damaged the shields somehow. That would have been awesome. Alright, we're gonna have this thing shoot anyways, just to see. Who knows, maybe it can do something. There's gonna be no oxygen on that ship, so it won't really matter, but... Just realized. Power up O2. It's not like we need engines right now. Yep, Dad did nothing. Lovely. Well, we're just gonna be, uh, sitting around, everybody. Don't worry too much. Uh, power down the oxygen, power up the engines again. Because I want you to get some evasive bonuses, maybe, to your skill. Ah, oh, crap. That needs to be power- uh, You're extended- This is just a wait! That's all this is. You're just making us wait for 30 years. You know, it's a good thing they're not trying to get away. It's a good thing that I didn't care about having weapons powered at that moment. Keep that power. And hit the shields, please. Excellent. Maybe it'll do something. Anything. Maybe the fires will do some damage. That would be excellent. Because now they actually have a laser up, and that could be bad. Yeah, because of that. Okay. Alright, it is time to, uh... Cancel the engines and power that. Alright. Everybody get in there and repair that. Oh! Clone Bay isn't powered! Uh... Okay, that could've been really bad. Oxygen's up! What's making them... Oh, of course. Finally! Good lord, what a waste of time. And everybody just dies a bunch. God, this is gonna be a never-ending cycle. Welcome back, everyone! Uh... Man, I don't like the ship. <laughs> I don't. I hate clone bays. I just... I can't stand the clone bays. If I could have a med bay and a clone bay at the same time, 
then I would be okay with it. Heck, maybe I'll, I'll play the mod one day that's supposed to, what you know, Captain's Edition or whatever, and we'll see if that has something that allows me to do that, because that would be preferable to this. Okay. You know, power down that, power up that, power down that for just a second so that's fully powered. Let's go this way. And not have a fight like that again, please. Teleporter. Lock onto their life signs as your teleporter. Hell, down. Hello, Bumpy M. Hmm. Well, the rest wait to be dropped. Well then, excellent. All right. We don't need the teleporter power. All right. You know what? New power bar. Everything is powered. Not exactly new power bar. Now everything is powered. Bumpy M. You shall be a boarding crew member. Because that's not a bad job for you. You're a big old rock man. You have more health than standard guys. Alright! Mm -hmm. Dangers of the Nebula, huh? Attack. Okay, and we have two very good boarding crew members, so, uh. Get in there! Yeah, there's no way on Earth that they're going to win that fight, two humans. <laughs> Aha, the missile missed. Perfect. Best case scenario. Enemy has no such thing as a clone bay on their ship, so per I get another miss. We're doing a very... That was the last of their crew. All right, well. <laughs> Back to it, boys. We got another place to go. I might upgrade the clone bay again just so it heals more. Attack the automated ship, because you know what? There's no way that it can possibly hurt us other than that fire beam. Or not even that fire beam, that regular beam drone. And even then, he has to be firing at just the right moment. He's gonna fire at just the right moment. It's just gonna be another long wait as a lot of these fights are going that way. <laughs> really appreciate not taking just one damage every now and then. Recharge! Okay. Whew. Alright, come on. Let's, uh, get that, uh... Hopefully the fire will do some form of damage to that thing. probably won't simply because of the fact that, well, you know, it, there's no oxygen on their ship, but, hey, why not keep those systems damaged, maybe, hopefully? God, we're gonna need to upgrade the artillery flat gun. Seven projectiles, that'll burn through shields, no problem, but, <sighs> such a long cooldown. Granted, that's seven damage if they have no shields, so that's huge. I think the best thing to do is try to take down shielding, and, uh... Yeah, there we are. Investigate the station. Boarding drone! Excellent. That's actually really good. A boarding drone is amazing. If we get a drone control, actually... Launch a boarding drone over on top of teleporting our people over there. Holy crap, we'd have quite... Attack the ship, of course. Alright, weapons! They actually won't be able to get through our stuff. So that's pretty nice. So hey, Shelton, go ahead and get some of those shield skills, why don't you? Killing off all their crew. Yep, not much can be done about that. They're just going to continue to die like that. That's... They're going to die and be cloned. That's what's going to be the case of Nikos and Bomfi. That is their life from this point. Kill him. Bomfi! How are you? Excellent. Return. Everyone back to your position. Save these positions in case they're forgotten. 
for some reason, I don't know. To the next area. Prepare to chase them. And on to this. <sighs> they have a drone, lovely. Wish the Mantis was the one fighting it. Okay, so long as they don't fire within specific alignment, that beam will never hurt us. Okay. Whew. And Nikos dies again, only to be cloned. Same will happen to Bomfy. Goodbye, Bomfy. Don't like doing this. These tactics take forever. Bomfy, I need you to get back so we can uh, send you over. Prepare to be beamed aboard their ship. Ah, flat cannon. Excellent. Now is the time for the fire beam. Set fires to several ship systems. I'm actually a little nervous about sending my crew over because I don't want them to die in the explosion. Oh wait, we have a cloning bay. Why would we give a crap? Hmm. I guess there's a point to be made there. Is anyone on board? There they are, kill them. Oh no! Crew died! <laughs> Time to clone them again! <laughs> oh, I feel so far sorry for these two. This would be a terrible way to exist. Well, they, again, they're clones. I mean, if you want to get really technical and philosophical about it, you can, but I don't really want to go into that conversation right now. <laughs> Crew teleport? That's not what I want. I want flak artillery. Excellent. Power that up. What's the flak artillery hotkey? Mm -hmm. Why? Excellent. Alright. Let's go here. Too bad we don't have a missile weapon. We got plenty of missiles. Well, not plenty, but we have a f quite a few. We have a decent number. Alright, what's here? Intruders on board! Now this is what we're made for! Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Intruders, not a problem. Never mind, I thought Nikos was going to die there. And everybody kill the intruders, done, back to positions. And let's go over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and go this way. Let's take the scenic route. Attack the pirate. Alright, uh, well. Oh. Tell you what. Nekos, you stay there. You... Alright, I want you two to beam aboard as is. Go ahead. Uh, teleporter, funny enough. Nekos will die, but she'll be back. Or he, I don't know. Anyone know Mantis culture? <laughs> Until then, that man is dead. Zeramar, why don't you... Oh. Well, that was simple. Flak gun. That is better. That is better for right now. Everybody back to your positions. Let's uh, repair this, though. And then let's go. I'm really happy I upgraded this now. I don't know how the ship will fare against them. You know, the uh, mothership, realistically. Hmm. Alright, we go there, then we jump there, and then we jump there. And by then it'll be that, that, and that. So yeah, we'll have time to get to the exit so long as we take three jumps to get there. Uh... No. <laughs> if anything else, I can jump out there and jump in, I suppose. I don't think it'll be a problem, though. It's 
trying to get away. Okay, this would actually be extremely bad. Let's target that engine, shall we? Okay, good. Enemy FTL delayed. Excellent. That's what we needed. Granted, we're going to take a ton of damage from this thing unless we take out that drone. Okay, good. Drone is down. That's the important part. Target that now. Excellent. Now that we have a basic flag cannon, we're well set. Even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, it'll do enough. Or if it's less easy to predict, I suppose. And incoming heavy flak! Excellent. Target the shields. Mm, not a lot of damage. Again, flak, the unpredictability is the problem with it, but it's great for going through shields, in general. Which is why I like flak weapons. Excellent. Yep, we're gonna go here and then head straight for the exit. Lovely. Rock crew, offer to lead them out of the nebula. Grudgingly transfer control of the helm. <laughs> Lovely. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. Prepare to arm everything. Now then, it is a flak one. Now, I imagine there's a difference between leaving our crew behind and, you know, having them get killed. So, let's make sure to uh, get them back before we transport. Your sensors will not function, but the rebel fleet will advance more slowly towards you. Okay, good. I want to. Uh, I would have preferred to take the missiles offline. I mean, they're in a position where they will miss. One and a half crew members working on that. Oh no, they died again. Who would have thought? I think I can actually destroy this ship, so... Get in there and fix that up. Just keep on. And... Shields down, please. There we are. Perfect. This next flak shot will probably get rid of them. All together. And dead. Do I get a salvage it at all, or is it just gonna give me a fuel? Okay. Well... Probably wasn't worth the extra damage. Mantis Homeworlds. Let us go. Even with our ship heavily damaged. <laughs> you know, this combined with Fire Beam would be really good. We need to get to a store and repair, though, so let's focus on that first. Send the crew to help! Oh no! They're back! <laughs> that's, the, that's the biggest upside of the clone bay there. Oh no, they got killed by a bullshit event? Don't worry about it. Pushing the wrong button. There we are. Another distress beacon. Then we should head for that store. Uh, lead them to their destination. Quest marker added to the map. I will head there after I head to the store. Alright. I could get a med bay, but I'm actually kind of okay with cloning. I don't, I don't like cloning, but it's okay. We have emergency respirators, thank you. However, we will be selling the boarding drone. Thank you. Fix it up to at least green status. The rest of this stuff is going to be used for... A ...weapon, you know, either flak artillery or... ...maybe the crew teleporter is in the bay. I'd like to get more system power general to that. So let's allow that, because we can power down Clone Bay a little bit, and now we have two very decent weapons actually active, because the Fire Beam will distract them. Okay, let's head for the Quest Beacon quickly now. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, attempt to download the ship's data stores. Oh boy, cloaking. Lovely. 
Alright, well, first things first, target the weapon systems. They have no shielding of any sort, so... Alright, I took down one part, but there's still that big scary freaking laser beam that could do two damage to me. Okay, it did no damage, but nonetheless, it's a scary laser beam anyways. Flak gun would be nice right about now. Okay. We were able to avoid most of the damage. <sighs> Maybe it'll just do the damage that we need. Okay, good. Now it's offline. Bombfee, you're not doing anything. Same as you, Nikos. Get in there and fix that. Alright, excellent. That was the large heavy duty flag cannon. Disable that, please. Thank you. Everyone back to your stations. It's nice that we got a bunch of Zoltan, though. They're helping out with the whole... Wow, three misses. They're helping out with the whole, you know, power situation. I'm saving on two power bars. That's very nice. Alright. The ship has felt like it's been on a bit of a calmer journey, or is that just me? <laughs> okay, distress beacon, then quest beacon. Pirate ambush! Well, wouldn't worry too much about that. Alright, well, they have an NG on board. Uh, I guess Charlie, you're the man up for this one. Oh, we should fire the fire beam. Well, that's too bad that that happened. Oh, goodness, get out of there. I don't want you getting hurt. Target their shields if you don't want to. Oh, well, they're all dead. Return. That works. <laughs> Ship. Please, more power. I want Clone Bay active at full power at all times, if at all possible. We're going to want to upgrade our shields next. Alright. Next. Five hole points repaired. Excellent. Hmm. No, I think we'll be okay for now. We'll jump over here. But hey, the repair was good. Mantis, attempt to hail them. Mantis crew member steps forward, perform a weird kind of alien haka. You, meanwhile, charge the battle systems. Alright, well, it is a Mantis cruiser. Okay, get on shields. He's attacking my door systems. I'm really bothered by that. Save the flak until the fire beam is charged. Now let's go ahead and deal with this now. Alright, fire beam. Excellent. Now is the time to shine. As it is. The question is, what do we want to hit? That'll hit a bunch of important systems, but this will hit more important systems. Okay, do it that way. Okay, you can target plenty of things and I'll accept it, but you will not target that thing. Nikos, where the heck are you? Well, you're dead probably now. <laughs> Come back, we still need you. <laughs> Charlie, I need you to get on repairs. Shelton, no, not Shelton. Zaramar, you can do the same. Nekos, go ahead and get in there. How you doing? Uh, you still barely have any fighting skills. That's okay, though. Yep. That could have been... I don't know. The ship, the ship is kind of growing on me. Maybe that's because I'm meeting with success, though. Could go poorly wrong. I imagine... Nope. Oh, rebel ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. Alright, well, um, let's see here. Uh, weapon systems. 
This can target shielding. Fire the flak gun. Ooh, good, we got a hit. Even with that defense drone. Okay, I like this ship layout in particular when I'm up against it because it's quite easy to uh, set a blaze in this way. I'm an idiot who didn't pay attention to the shields. Oh well. <laughs> They'll be right back, so... I want to hit that in process. Damn it! This is not the time! Okay, good. Now all their systems are down. Now is the part where we uh, fire beam. Bomb fee, get into your position. Alright. I think at this point, yeah. Fire's gonna finish him off. Heavy laser mark one. Ooh. We're getting tons of excellent weapons, but not a lot on the defense right now. Other than evasion. Uh, aid them. Do they have a teleporter on board? No, they do not. They do, however, have a clone bay. Kinda takes priority, because we can't kill their crew until that clone bay is destroyed. Other than weapons, of course. Alright, good. We took down the important weapon. Well then, that's one way to uh, cause me problems. Fire the fire beam. Like so. Uh, well then, that's very kind of him. Everyone back to stations. <laughs> Excellent. Power-up shields! Level 2. Now we have... several things. I think getting the heavy laser is the next step. And we're gonna just sell the chain ion. All right, we have to go to the exit. And let's get out of here, please. Slug Home ne Nebula or the Zoltan Homeworld. You know what? Slug Home Nebula. Let's do it. I think we're kitted out well enough. Even though this place terrifies me. As it should. Because the slugs do things like get rid of your oxygen. Which isn't so bad when you're Lonius, but... Approaches, but when he sees your Federation, thinks better to sneak attack and fires everything he has. Well then. Let's see, what do we go after? Mm, this. What are they going to do? They're just a few slugs. Hopefully we'll take down that... That was a nasty shot there. And... Weapon systems down, please. Well, they had to do damage to my, uh, you know, freaking thing. Lovely. My weapon systems. Nikos, get in there and repair that. Would you stop it? Oh yeah, the heavy laser. That will actually act as... Let them live. Except the anti-bio beam. Because I can sell it. Besides that, I don't want to deal with stupid crap right now. So, Matt... Get in there. On top of that, I just realized that my whole integrity is crap right now. <laughs> well then, alright, everybody fix everything, and then we got places to go. Okay, let's go. Hmm. I don't want this nebula to be my end, thank you. Uh. Hmm. Attack! 
Alright. Most important place to go is weapons. I realize I'll be damaging my own crew with this, but my own crew is more durable. On top of that, I really don't want them to do things like that to me. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> well, never mind. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship was torn apart. Well, that'll be it for this then. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.